Class 8 Special Hero Poem Motivation Activity Let's see students' participation. Yes. 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 Okay, dear children, today we are going through the poem Special Hero written by Christina N. Kershon. Okay, Special Hero. So let me ask you a question to you. Who is your special hero? Who is, who do you like very much? Who is your hero? Louder? Kalapati, okay? Ajit, then. Who is your uh, role model or hero? Who do you like very much? Yaar, who do you Louder, please. Ajit. Then, Vijay, Kalapati, then. Shiva Dhanusha. Shiva Kartikeyan. Okay, fine. Alright, now I will change your mindset. Now today you told something. After reading this poem, I will change your mindset itself. Alright. Fine children. You also are telling so many things. When you are going to celebrate your birthday, tomorrow is a birthday, to whom you will go and ask, I want chocolates to give to my friends. Will you go and ask for Ajit or Talapati or Shivakartikeyan? Shivakartikeyan, Shivakartikeyan. Tomorrow is my birthday. Buy me sweets. Tomorrow is your birthday. You want new dress. To whom you will ask? To whom you will ask new dress? Then at that time you should go and ask Ajit, no. You can ask Vijay, no. You can ask Shivakartikeyan, no. So when you need something, you will come and ask father and whom do you like, you will ask something else. This is a big controversy. It is not like, okay, now tell me, when you are in suffering, when you have fever, who will take you to hospital? Dad. Dad. Will Ajit come and take you to hospital? No. Will Vijay come and take you to hospital? No. No. So when you are having any problems, who is coming to help you? Daddy, father. So now tell ask one question. Who is hero? Dad. Okay. Who is your hero? Ajit Ajit is your hero? No. Vijay is your hero? No. Kartik is your hero? No. Daddy is your hero. Our special hero is always Dad. Understand? Okay. Anyway, before entering the lesson, can you all see pictures? Now tell me, observe the picture nicely, see the picture nicely, then tell me what you understand. Tell me what you observe from these two pictures. Okay, I will give you five minutes time. Okay, then tell children. Okay, listen, you can pair, you can do the activity together, you can discuss your friends and tell the answer. Okay, discuss and find out. Then are you ready to tell? Okay, you observed the uh, picture nicely. Now, what do you find? What do you see in the picture? Now, here dad and father. That you can see many of black holes in dad's body. But there is no any holes in the children's, his son's body. Okay, so in the daddy's body, there are plenty of holes. Whereas, in the child's body, there is no hole at all. It is full. It means the food is all troubles hmm. that are sacrificed many things for the children. So, the, that is no trouble for the children. Okay. There is no, so many more troubles for that. Our dear handsome hero is dad. Very good. Okay, ma'am. My next point, who is going to tell? Okay, tell me what you observe in the picture. Father seeing the children. Okay. Children see the father. Okay. Father is uh, looking at the child and the child is looking at the father. Okay. Father you see that my beautiful children. Okay, father is telling it is my beautiful child. Okay, and child is telling my beautiful. Okay, you tell. The children. Children, child. Mm. The child tightly holds the middle finger. Okay, the child is holding the daddy's finger. Okay, holding. Holding means catching. So that the child will be very safe without any harm. 
Okay, very good. Any other observation? So in the beginning of the class we told, who is the hero? You told so many words. But after understanding what is right and what is wrong, what is good and bad, after understanding something, your answer was something totally different. Can you understand? So now if we ask together, who is your hero? Dad. 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 So if there is no, I mean, reason at all for this reason, no, for Daddy is our full uh, hero. Okay, we can follow his footsteps without asking why or what. Because Daddy will never tell anything wrong. Father will never tell wrong for the child. Always Father will tell only good things for the child. You need not hesitate. You can simply follow his footsteps. Now we we'll see the point in detail.